So Graham, what have we been learning about in our little at-home preschool? We made peanut butter. We made butter, because we've been learning about what? Um, some farm animals. Farm animals, and you made butter. Mm -hmm. Should we try it and see if it's yummy? Yeah, let's see. It's just butter, it's not peanut butter. Good job. It's your toast with your butter on it. How is it? Good. Is your butter yummy? Yeah, my peanut Do you remember that we are talking about the things that do or do not matter? Do not matter. Okay, so show me how you would walk to your room. Good job. Okay, now go back and I want you to get your bike and take a different path. Run. You're gonna take a different path on your little motorcycle bike. Okay, go ahead. How would you get to your room? Good job. Okay, can you tell me which way did you like? Riding your bike or walking? So that's what this section is all about. The Heavenly Father said that he didn't care how they got where they were going. He just wanted them to get there. And he wanted them to do it the way that they liked. And that's how it is for our journey. The destination, a lot of the times, is what matters. And he'll tell us, go however you want to go. Do what the things that make you happy to get to the destination. Now I need you to follow the instructions very carefully. Can you listen to the instructions? I need you to jump to the carpet. Jump to the carpet. Jump. Okay, now I need you to turn around and walk backwards to your room. Freeze. I need you to spin around three times. One. Two. Three. Now I need you to keep walking backwards. Now I need you to stop and knock on the wall. Now I need you to run to your room as fast as you can. Okay, now I need you to run back. Do you understand why I had you do all those things? Yeah. Did it, do you really get why I made you do all those things? Sometimes, sometimes Heavenly Father asks us to follow specific instructions and we might not know why. It might just be that we have to listen and follow the specific instructions. But either way, when he tells us that it's up to us, or if he has specific instructions. So Heavenly Father tells them there are two things that are really important that it does matter. So he says some things don't matter. There are two things that matter. People, people. and our testimony. <laughs> so the people that we help along our way and taking care of our testimony are two important things. So when you're going on your journey, you're supposed to take care of the people around you. So if you go on your journey to your room, you're supposed to stop and ask dad if he needs anything. Go stop and ask dad on the way to your room. Say, do you need anything? That's what you're supposed to do. That's what Holy Father tells us to care about is helping people on the way. So ask dad if he needs something. And that might make your journey a little longer, but that's what matters is helping other people. Do you know who's with you the whole time you go on your, your journey in this life? Who's with you? Daddy. Mommy. And we'll be with you as much as we can, but even sometimes we couldn't be with you. So guess who's always with you? Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father and live in Mel. And live in Mel. <laughs> but especially Heavenly Father is always with you. 
And so you can always know that he is with you to help you make the right decisions, know where to go, know how to get there. Huh? What is a warning? Shall you go to the temple? <laughs> no. What is a warning? Uh, when you go to the sideways. Is it when mom or dad says, don't touch this, it's hot. Or they say, don't go in the street because you could get hit by a... Yeah, those are all warnings. So we're telling you don't do something because we're trying to keep you safe. So if I say, don't lean on that blanket or you could fall, what do you do? Okay. I said, don't lean on that blanket basket or you could fall. You move. That's right. Good job. That's what Heavenly Father is doing. He's giving his people warnings. You should or you shouldn't do this or this might happen. And you, I want you to be safe. And um, we don't get hit by a girl. Graham, if I give you a warning, does that mean I'm mad at you? No. No. It just means I want you to be safe. Right? So if I say, oh no, don't cross the street. Does that mean I'm mad at you? It just means I want you to be safe. And that's what Heavenly Father is doing. Sometimes in the scriptures, Heavenly Father sounds mad. And that can be a little confusing. But it's because he's telling us things that will keep us safe. He's giving us warnings and he wants us to listen carefully and understand how serious it is. You know? Yeah, I know. So does Heavenly Father love you? Yeah, but I love you. Oh, and you love me? Can you love Heavenly Father too? No. <laughs> yes, you can. So in section 63, Heavenly Father is telling them where they are going to build the temple. And this is a map of where the temple is going to be in Missouri. And this is the land that they bought. And how they were able to buy the land is because Heavenly Father told them where to buy it and what to do. Sometimes Heavenly Father tells us which things that we need to do. Is that a pretty map of the, where the temple will be? Yeah. So today, we're going to drive over to where the Syracuse temple is going to be. That's going to be our temple. So let's go drive and see what other places Heavenly Father puts the temples. Because he gives us specific instructions sometimes about temporal things and temple things. <laughs> so in this section, we're learning about the temporal things and like where Zion is going to be. But we're also learning about how to be a Zion people. Can you say a Zion people? you say Zion people? Zion people. Okay, the first thing that they are told to do is gather. So go get Edgar and Wormy in the hallway and bring them to me. Gather them up. Good job. Okay, the second thing they are supposed to do is listen. How do you show me that you're listening? And the third thing they're supposed to do is obey. So to obey, I want you to go run around the table. Run! Good job. So those are the things that we're supposed to do to be a good Zion people. Gather, listen, and obey. <laughs> what are we making? Brownies. Brownies. And I get to lick a brownie up off this, of this Scoopy. What are you doing? I'm playing Florent. Did we build them a nice house? Melanie, you have to tell Thomas you're sorry before you may play again. And don't be your brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie, did you tell him you were sorry? Thomas, did she say sorry? Yes. Okay.
What is a kingdom, Graham? It's because that is... Who is in charge of a kingdom? The king and the... The king and the king. The queen. Is it a wine or a basketball or a book okay. or a truck? Okay, so in the kingdom that we're learning about, Jesus is the one in charge. And he is over all of the people and he's ruling his kingdom. So the kingdom is here on earth. We always talk about the kingdom of heaven. Guess where it's going to be? Here. So we have to make sure that the earth is ready to be this amazing kingdom. E. E. Okay, can you go get a bunch of the small letter blocks? So, do you think those small blocks are very are they very big or are they little? Okay, come bring them over here on the table. Do you think that the small blocks could still make something big? How could how could they make something big? If you stack them up, could they make something tall? Yeah, look. See, now they're bigger. No, I don't want to do that. I want to stack them up like this. Okay. They can be long, too. They can be long. We can use lots of small things to make something really big. And that's what we learn about in the scriptures. Okay, Graham, do you see all those blocks on the floor behind you? Yeah. Do you see all the blocks? Is it kind of messy to build things? We have lots of book blocks on the floor. It's kind of like I did this. Yeah, is it kind of messy with all of the blocks over there? Turn around. It's kind of messy, huh? Yeah. So look at me. Building the kingdom of heaven and building the kingdom Jesus wants us to build is kind of messy too. Because we have people doing it and they don't always do the right things or say the right things. It's messy to build the kingdom. It's messy to build with blocks. But it's worth it, and we can help clean up some of the messes. We can help figure things out, and that's part of building it. Okay, so I want you to try to walk through my legs. Okay. Nope. Stand up and walk. Can you walk through? No. You can't get through, can you? Can only do this? Nope. Oh, I won't let you. So that is what Heavenly Father wants us to know. He says the standard of truth. No unhallowed hand can stop the work. So Heavenly Father wants us to know that nothing can stop him from being able to do what he wants to do. Nothing can be like my legs and nothing can stop it. It's going to get through no matter what. So our job is to help Heavenly Father be able to do that because nothing is going to stop it. <laughs> Remember how we talked about don't be weary in well-doing? Huh? So when you're building the blocks, do you sometimes get tired? No. Do you ever get tired? No. <laughs> okay, good. That's what Heavenly Father wants us to remember. We should not get tired of doing good things. Do you sometimes get tired of having to be nice? And it's hard to share or be kind? No, you feel like you can always do a good job of it? That's it. I want to keep that snow seat, that snowball that opens and shuts. And you had to share it. Was that kind of hard? Were you tired of sharing it yesterday? Um, but Heavenly Father tells but us. The, but the scaly father wants to took it for me, and I wanted it back. Yeah, and so you were tired of sharing but we are told by Heavenly Father not to get tired in doing good things because he'll help us. So, we yeah. learned about William McClellan. Can you say William McClellan? William DeCona. <laughs> so, he asked questions to Jesus da, da. that he was able to have answered. What kinds of questions can you ask Jesus? Like, oh, I want to be a block. And Jesus says to me, Oh, I think you could push some blocks some more and more and make a big tell of blocks. I think maybe you could ask Jesus things like, How do I be nice? Or, How can I know that you love me? 
You can ask those kinds of questions to Jesus, huh? Do you know what an errand is when we go run errands? Huh? We, we go to the store or we have to go to the library. Can you do an errand for me really quick? Yeah. Can you go into the kitchen and throw this napkin away? Huh? Can you go do that errand for me? Thank you. Do you know who else has errands for us? Huh? Heavenly Father. And we have to spend some time figuring out what our errands are from Heavenly Father. So what do you think Heavenly Father wants you to do? Um, I, he wants me to be to... Do you think he wants you to be nice? Yeah. To your family and friends? And maybe smile at people and help them be happy? Mm -hmm. Do you think you can do that? Mm 